All right, guys, you ready for part three? Let's get started. All right, you saw me in the beginning uh, blowing off the, the ceiling and the floors and all that. After that, what I usually do, I pressure wash the entire thing, the, the walls, the windows, the floor, the ceiling, everything, I pressure wash it. But this is gonna be a little bit different. Reason being is that I'm gonna be shooting metal flake to the entire car. And that's gonna create a lot of mess with the metal flake. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cover everything up with a plastic uh, sheeting and uh, do it that way. That way when I'm done, I'll just pick up the plastic sheeting, all the metal flake will be picked up. And there you go. Uh, the walls have been covered, everything's good. Let me start covering the car and uh, getting it ready. Getting it ready for that metal flake. There it is, after a couple of hours of uh, taping, it's ready to go. Let's just uh, wipe it down with a tack rag and some wax and grease remover. Put some self-fetching primer on the parts where it's bare metal. Let's start spraying. This is a self-fetching primer I'm gonna be using. Uh, it's a 1K primer, but it's perfect because it's small areas. If it would have been a bigger area, I would have used a 2K uh, self-fetching primer but these are real small areas this will work let me start applying it here we go guys first of all I'm gonna use some gray sealer uh, to cover up the whole car the car has a bunch of different little colors everywhere so I need a uniform color for it to be the right uh, color consistency okay so that's what the sealers for if you're gonna do a overall paint job your best uh, the deal is to use sealer to cover up everything that uh, has been done to the car. All right, so let's just get started. Let's start applying. It only needs one coat. Let's start applying the first coat of sealer. The gun I'm gonna be using is from Avalon, the A1600 with a 1.3 tip. And the uh, PPS cups are from Limeline. All right, I'm gonna leave all the information to everything in the description below if you wanna check it out and uh, go ahead and get you some. All right, let's get started.
okay? The sealer has been applied. I'm gonna wait 15 minutes for it to dry and then come back, start applying the base. The base is gonna be stellar silver, which is gonna be great for that metal flake that's gonna be coming up. Real quick, another question that I have been asked is what is sealer? Why do you apply sealer? Sealer is primer, guys. Sealer is primer. The only thing, it's a non-sandable. You don't sand it. So you can throw your base right on top of it. It's a real good uh, product to, to start using if you don't use it because it'll give you a better finish. It'll give you a real nice, tough, resistant paint uh, to stick to. And that's it. That's what it is. I usually use sealer when I'm going to do an overall paint job and a color change. Okay. So uh, that's what it is. Another thing, before you start applying your base, make sure you use a tack rag and clean it. Look at all the residue that I picked up from this uh, sealer. Use a tack rag, clean it up so you can get a real nice paint job. That's another tip, guys, that... You need to clean in between coats. The only time you don't use a tack rack is when you're gonna be using, uh, when you're gonna start applying the clear. Uh, once you start applying the clear, that's it. Your whatever's underneath is gonna stay underneath. So use a tack rack, clean it up on every every layer that you apply in the car. Here you go. The paint I'm gonna be using it's called Stellar Silver from Uricam. Let's mix it up start applying it another thing if you don't um, know how i mix these uh, paints or how they're mixed i have several videos on how to do that i am going to show how i'm going to mix the metal flake so uh let's continue Alright, three coats of the silver have been applied. What I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be doing a control coat. What a control coat is, I'm going to have, I'm going to be spraying a little bit farther away so that the metallics can lay down flat. Okay, I want all the metallics laying down flat so that it doesn't leave any blotching edges, any tiger stripings or anything. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now, but all in all, it's coming out real nice. After the base, comes some metal flake.
the flow code has been applied you saw how I did it I was a little bit farther from the from the panel and also I reduced the the paint 10% more than what it needs okay so that it can flow out better and it left me a real nice surface perfect right there now about the Avalon A1600 I just used a quart and a half of silver to paint the entire car three passes it's a real nice uh, paint savers gun I want to say but uh, came out real nice now I am gonna use a different gun for the metal flake reason being it's the metal flake this is a gun I'm gonna be using the A1000 from Avalon and it has a 2.0 needle nozzle combination that's gonna be perfect for the metal flake now let me show you the metal flakes that I'm gonna be using alright guys these are the metal flakes they're for Grand 7 magic flakes and these are 0 .008 metal flakes silver this is uh, one pound of uh, metal flakes so uh, let's just mix it up start applying it alright I mix two to one two parts of the uh, inner coat clear with one part of the reducer in this bigger bucket so that uh, I can mix the flake okay let's start adding the flakes and let's see how much we need How I know how much metal flake I need, it's with uh, the mixing stick, right there. When I pull the mi mixing stick out, I can't see the stick right away. And that tells me that I'm perfect. Alright, so let me just pour it in the gun. I am not going to use a filter, I am not going to use a, a filter in the gun either. I'm just going to pour it straight to the gun and start the applying it There's the first coat of uh, metal flake. Now you can see all the mess it makes. But there it is. I'm gonna add uh, probably two more coats and uh, it'll be it'll be good with that. There it is. Three full wet coats of metal flake. 
and it's ready it's ready to be covered with uh, just regular clear just regular clear so you can bury the flake and uh, you'll be done you'll be done to go to the next step Alright, there it is after four coats of clear. It's uh it's done. Now I gotta wait about three days so I can come back and uh sand it down so that I can uh start applying the the candy, the candy paint. There it is. Hopefully the camera's picking it up. But I'll show it to you out in the sun. Hopefully it'll pick it up in the sun. It should. But there it is, guys. Metal flake the whole car. All right, this is the following day. I was going to show it to you out in the sun, but there's no sun today. Very good. But uh, there it is, guys. This is it. I hope you guys uh, now know how to apply metal flake to the entire car. Uh, it's a little time consuming and it is messy but uh, the results that it's going to give you it's an excellent result i am going to wait about two to three days before i can start sanding it i am going to sand it with 600 grit i'm going to show you how to do that but this will be it guys all right thank you very much i hope you guys picked up a couple of little tips and tricks there and uh, as to how to flake out a, a car all right thank you and uh like always, I'll see you this coming weekend. God bless.